Big Brian Show. Welcome to the Big Brian Show. Nice. What's happening? I want to talk about some of the myths and give you the truth about retirement. So, I see a lot of people talking about how much you should have saved in your 401k. I see some people saying you should have half a million dollars. Some people saying you should have a million dollars. Yeah, that's fine if you're rich. <laughs> How many people you know got a half a million dollars saved up? Not too many. But that's one of the myths right there. You do not have to have a half a million dollars or a million dollars saved up to retire. Um, I mean, if you could do that, yeah, that's fine. But most people don't have that kind of money. Because you're too busy working and paying bills and taking care of your kids and paying your house and blah blah, blah and, and and whatever and, and, and all other bills. And and, and 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 most people are living paycheck to paycheck. So ain't nobody, ain't nobody that's that's a that's a very unrealistic uh saying. So that this just throw that out, out the window. Um now if you and that's what social security is for. A lot of people live. A, a lot of people live off Social Security, and that's what it's for. You know, when you get to a certain age, sixty-two, you can't claim Social Security. That's why you work. That's why you. That's why you need to work. See all these young people on YouTube talking about they. They tired of working. I'm gonna quit my nine to five. Well, you know, I, I hate to say, you know, how stupid that is. Because you think you thinking now. But you're not planning for the future. That's why you work. You work so you can have Social Security so when you get old that you can retire. If you don't work, then guess what? When it's time to retire, you're not going to have nothing. Here's the deal, right? You have to work at least 35 years, okay? You have to work at least 35 years. To get to build up to get Social Security, yeah, thirty-five years. So if you ain't, if you haven't worked thirty-five years, you in trouble. Hate to say it, unless you got your own business and have saved a million dollars, then you know you don't have to worry. But that's like I say, that's 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 rare. So that's why you have to work. I'm going to put this graph up. Hang on for a second. So Social Security looks at your highest 35 years of earned income. And a lot of times, you don't start making good money to you in your 20s or 30s, sometimes 40s and 50s. But what happens is they take the highest earned income and they replace the lowest, lowest income. But that's how Social Security works. They do the same thing for your pension. If you if you work in a job that's going that's got pension, they they usually take your last highest years. The, the, they they usually take the, the the last three years that you made the most money, and they and they use that to calculate your benefits, your highest. So that's that's another. That's why you want to try to you know. Make as much money as you can. But if you don't work enough years, you won't get any Social Security when you get old. You won't get nothing. Uh, like my girlfriend, she didn't work enough. So she didn't get any Social Security. However, she was able to get disability. And that's another thing. If you can't work, try to make sure you can get on disability. Disability is 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 basically going to be your social security if you can't work. 
okay and um and you get that check every month and sometimes it can take years to get on disability i know i know a lot of people it, it can take a long time to get on disability okay um so anyway here's another thing i want to talk about another myth another myth is you should have your house paid for that's another myth first of all everybody don't have a house and even if you have a house you can still pay your bills if you if you're getting a good enough social security um that's just like because like because because now you, a lot of people paying I know for a fact people pay more in rent to rent a place than they do to have a house so that's that's another myth you can just throw out the window as you can see as of 2024 the average rent in Pennsylvania for an apartment is fifteen hundred dollars a month studio twelve sixty nine per month one bedroom fourteen seventy eight that's fifteen hundred two bedroom almost two thousand and a three bedroom over two grand so they see that's what I'm saying it's cheaper to actually have a house than to rent mortgage payments are nowhere near as high as, as um renting is I mean it's like me my mortgage is and here's the and here's the thing which you need to you need to if you got a house you want to try to refinance okay you want to and you want to ref and that's the trick you want to refinance to get your payments down but you got to but you have to do it at a at a, when it's when the, when the um when the rates are low you know cuz like right now I, I I think it's I think it's out the roof but yeah uh see I refinance at 3% so my mortgage payment ain't but like 800 a month and there's people paying that much in rent so that's why I say that's another that's another myth about you don't have your house paid for. If I didn't have a house, I'd be I'd be I'd be. In other words, if I didn't have my house, I'd probably be paying more for to rent an apartment. So you know what I'm saying? Because I I seen some places for rent eleven hundred, thirteen hundred. So that's another myth. I mean, now you do want to um, try to pay. You know, you don't try to get rid of your debt, but you know. And if you want to retire early, and when I mean early, I mean before 62. Um, you want to, well, you, you can't, you're not going to be able to do that unless you got 401k or you work somewhere that's, that, that you got, pen, that you're getting pension. Because you're going to have to survive off of that. Let's say you retire at uh, 55, early retirement, right? Um. You want to make sure you get enough money. You're, you you want to make sure your your your, your pension check or your, or you got you, you want to make sure you got enough money that you can pay your bills and stuff until you get to sixty two. Okay, and that's how people do that. You know, if you you know if you was, if you one of those ones that had that has a good pension or a good four hundred one k, then yeah, then you can retire like at fifth fifty five fifty three. And um, live off live off of that money until you get the Social Security, which is sixty two. Then you can start collecting that to add to it. But here's something else you have to look out for: if you take your pension early, you're going to get penalized. And you can see right here, if you take it before you turn fifty nine and a half, you may have to pay an additional ten percent tax on the amount you withdraw. This is called the early withdrawal tax. And some places going to penalize you if you take it before 65. There are some exceptions to the early withdrawal tax, such as if you use the money to purchase a primary resident using the distribution within 120 days of receiving it, using the funds to purchase a principal residence and being a first time home buyer. 
with the lifetime limit of ten thousand dollars this is how much you get penalized if you take ssi early you get 70 percent if you're 62 75 if you're 63 you get a hundred percent if you're 67 that's full retirement age but you can look at the chart and see how much they penalize you if you take it before 67. One last thing, the earlier you retire, the more you're going to get penalized. But if you're tired of working and if you can afford to retire, I say go ahead and do it. Because ain't nothing uh, better than having peace of mind, no stress, but you want to make sure you can pay your bills. And um, one, one thing to consider, I mean, if you, if, if you retire too early, you're cheating yourself out of a lot of money. I mean, you know, because cause, cause you do tend to make more money the older you get. Like, if you're in your 40s and 50s, you're making more money than you than you was when you was in your 20s. Okay, that's the point I'm trying to make. So, and the money you make in your 40s and 50s is going to replace, see what I'm saying? The higher money is going to replace the lower money. You know, but still, you got to get 35 years in to get retirement. So, uh, don't quit working, guys. Time goes by fast, trust me. I, time goes by fast. So, before you know it, you're going to have 10 years. And try to find a job that's got pension, okay? That's what you want. Try to find a job that's got, that's got pension. Because pension and retirement helps out a lot. And some people got multiple pensions, and that's really good if you can get more than one pension. Peace out.